Here we go. Quadratic formula. Have you ever wondered where it actually comes from? Right, as quick as we can. You will need knowledge of completing the square to do this. Um, so to start off with, we start off, we, we have just a standard quadratic, okay? But I've put an A, a B, a C in there just to stand for any numbers, right? They could be absolutely anything at all. Right, so let's have a little think about what we do, right? What we're interested in is what X values would give us an answer of zero. This is what this is doing up here. Right, so here we go. Complete the square, right? So remember, what we do, so you just take A outside for a moment. Remember, I'm just thinking about how do we write this bit here. So then that's going to be x squared plus b over a x, all right? So all I've done is I've just parked this a outside just for a moment. Right, what are we doing then? Well, let's now think about again, how do we rewrite this bit here? Remember we half this over here. So we can have x plus b over 2a squared and then we've got to take away the excess, so that's going to be this bit here, squared. So then we're going to have a b squared minus 4a squared. Don't forget, we've still got a plus c there, equals 0. And then this lot has got to be multiplied by a. Right, multiply out by a. What do we get? Let's keep going as quick as we can. So 2a always looks a lot harder we've just got letters rather than numbers right but it's effectively exactly the same thing right take away well if that's going to cancel one of these a's down here so i can have b squared over 4a and then don't forget we've got a plus c there and then the whole thing's equal to zero right let's now try and maneuver this around so it says x equals right that's all we got to do right so we'll add that take that away from both sides so that gives us a x plus b over 2a squared equals so what are we going to have we can have b squared minus uh, sorry over 4a take away c right can we just rewrite this bit so it's one fraction multiply top and bottom here by 4a so it becomes b squared minus 4ac over 4a and now we're going to divide by that other a as well here we go, right, divide by that A, bring them over here. So that gives us, now it's always easier when you're doing this, just do one thing at a time. That gives us B squared minus 4AC over 4A squared. Yeah, that A just went over there. Right, next step, get rid of this square, square root. So we've got X plus B over 2A equals square root we've got plus minus remember you can have two possibles plus and a minus there right here we go for oh wait a minute 4a squared right if i do square root of 4a squared it's equal to so we got plus minus and then we're going to have b squared minus 4ac and that's all over 2a and then we've got x plus b over 2a take away that bit from both sides and we have x equals minus b over 2a plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Combine that together and where are we? We're there. Right. Thank you. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I've been RMS Maths and I'll see you next time. Maths out.